The question number six says that the reactance of an AC circuit is zero. It is possible that the circuit contains. Now, dear students, the reactance will be zero. Either it is pure resistance or the combination of XL and XC would be zero. And the first option is an adductor and a capacitor. That is possible. That if XL become equal to XC, then total reactance can become zero. An inductor but not capacitor, not true. An inductor and the resistance, but no capacitor, not true. A capacitor, but not an inductor. So, which option? It is possible only in the first case when it is inductor and capacitor, XL, XC can be equal. And the answer to this question is option number one. Now, let's go to question number seven. The question says that a bulb, a rated 100 watt, 220 volt, is connected across a household supply of alternative voltage of 220 volt. The maximum instantaneous current through the filament is. These are the four options. And see, this bulb has the power V square by R. And let's find its resistance. The resistance will be equal to V square by P. V is given 220. And the power consumption was equal to 100. So this become its resistance. Now this is connected to an AC of 200 volt. Then what will be the current? IRMS is equal to the voltage which is given to you divided by the resistance. VRMS how much? This 220. And what is this? This is 484. And you solve this become approximately this value. Now, what is asked the maximum value of the current? And you know that the maximum value of current is root 2 times IRMS. So, multiply by this, this would approximately will be equal to 0.64 ampere. So, look at the options. The third option is 0.64 ampere. So, answer to this question is 3. Let's move to the next problem. Question number 8 says that a series AC circuit contains an inductor of 20 millihenry, a capacitor of 100 microfarad, a resistance of 50 ohm, and an AC source of 12 volt 50 hertz. The energy dissipated in the circuit in one second. The energy consumed in the circuit in one second, that is called the power. Now, the basic question is how much power is consumed? The power consumption, how will you calculate? This circuit contains an inductor which is equal to 20 millihenry, a capacitor which is equal to 100 microfarad. So we can find out XL and XC. And XL is equal to 2 pi the frequency into L. So 2 into pi into frequency, the frequency is given 50 and L is given 20 into 10 is power minus 3. So this we have to solve and then x is equal to 1 on omega c. Omega is this. So 1 upon 2 into pi the frequency was 50 and this is 100 microfarad. So 100 into 10 is power minus 6. So, knowing the value of XL and XC, we have to find out first the Z and Z is what? R square plus X square root. And when you solve this X is equal to XL minus XC or XC minus XL. This we have to solve. This value comes approximately 25.5 ohm. And here R was given 50 ohm. So, if I fill up here, the Z is equal to 50 square plus 25.5 square root, the value comes to be 56.1 ohm. Then the power is equal to I square into the, the resistance. And how to find the current? The current is equal to V by Z square into the R. So, and what is the V? V is given equal to 12 volt. And what is said? 56.12 square multiply by R. The resistance of the circuit is given equal to 50. 
and we solve it this value come to be 2.28 that is equal to 2.3 so the power is 2.3 joule per second that is in watt therefore the energy consumed per second is equal to 2.3 joule so your answer to this question is option number 1 let's go to the next problem the question number 9 says that AC circuit having the voltage E is equal to 10 cos of 100 pi T plus cos of 500 pi T is connected in series with a capacitor and a resistance. The current in the circuit is found to be equation I is equal to I1 cos of 100 pi T plus 51 plus I2 cos of 500 pi T plus 52. This circuit contains two values of current leading the applied voltage. Choose the correct option. I1 is equal to I2. I1 is greater than I2. I1 less than I2. For this one, we have to find the current and the current will be equal to the EMF divided by the impedance. And the current I2 will be equal to EMF divided by impedance. Now, how to find the impedance and look at the circuit Z1 will be equal to R square plus the circuit contain a capacitor X square root and that is equal to R square what is XC? 1 upon omega c and your z2 is equal to r square plus x square root this is equal to r square plus 1 upon omega c and omega in this case is equal to 500 pi c square root and what you find that z1 is greater than z2 if Z1 is greater than Z2, that obviously in that case, E1 is equal to E2. We look at the equation and both it is 10. It implies that I1 will be less than I2. Therefore, the correct option to this is option number 3. Let's move to the next problem. The question number 10 says, an electric field in electromagnetic wave is given by equation E equal to 50 sine of omega t minus kx the energy contained in a cylinder of cross section 1 meter square with length 25 centimeter along x axis is nearly equal to now dear student we have to calculate the energy and what is the average energy formula the average energy will be equal to 1 by 2 epsilon naught capital e square multiply by the volume now this is 1 by 2 and epsilon net is 8.85 this 8.85 10 is power minus 12 and e naught is given equal to 50 and the volume will be area of cross section which is 1 and the length is 0.25 meter so you have to solve this value so this is 1 by 2 80.85 2500 by 4 into 10 power minus 12 and this comes to be approximately 2.77 10 is power minus 9 joule and that option become equal to 2.77 nano joule therefore answer is Let's move to the next problem. 